we are going to start by creating a vanity bag and uh, the first thing that I will like to do is I uh, will take <clears throat> the image and I will put it somewhere here so that this image is a reference that I will be using and I'll just uh, lock this image select it and I will uh, left mouse click and just lock it so that it doesn't move so even if we try to move it it will not move okay now uh, the next thing that I would like to do is we'll start with the rounded rectangle so I'll start from here center and I'll start uh, click zero the way we usually do and I'll type in 12 I n and the width I'm going to type in 6 I n and click enter and I'll just move not click right now just make sure that you know we are uh, we have somewhat this kind of a shape that is with the reference image that we have here now um, I would like to you know uh, make the grids as in larger as in you know on a bigger scale so I will go to options click and here I'll go to grids and in the grid line count I'll just type in 500 so that we have a larger space to work on now uh, the only problem is the image is coming within though I've already seen the shape of the image so what I'm going to do is in case I have uh, you know because the image will get hidden in the picture so I'm just going to click on it and uh, unblock it and move it on the side somewhere around here and just left mouse click so that it locks again okay now uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to bring the height so the height i want is 7 i n let's see and we get this kind of a shape now if i go into the shaded view it will look something like this uh, as we always do we rebuild and uh, this is 12 and 6 which is perfectly fine if you're not perfectly fine I think I worked out a calculation which was probably 15 let's see if it comes out all right or you can change according to your wishes so uh, this is uh, you know uh, probably the shape is coming out a little off so I can just correct it by just clicking on this and clicking F10 so by clicking F10 I will be able to adjust the shape of this a bit like this Move it and adjust the shape select this and and we select this part or we probably just select this part we move this a bit move this okay now uh, I think I've adjusted the and uh, click cap and close it so it's cap on both the ends okay now uh, the next thing that I would like to do is I uh, will uh, duplicate the edges to get a piping on the side 
so since this if you actually see this vanity back this has a piping to it so how do we do it we go to curve we go to curve from object and uh, we duplicate the edges so i'm just going to click on this and click on this and click enter and uh we get a duplicate curve now i'll if i select this curve i go into the property so this is like a fake piping that i'm doing so i uh, will go over here this is the curve piping and click switch this on and if you can see this um so i have a piping which is like you know and you can view this in the rendered view like this okay now uh, if you can see the base of this is a little like you know it's coming out of it and mine is a little flat so what i can do is i'll just select so i'll go into the shaded view again i'll go over here and i will explode this surface and i'll select this area and um, i'll rebuild this first i'll do the explosion then i'll do rebuilding and here uh, let's see we don't want 15 so we can have 12 and we can click ok ok now i'll click on this click f10 and uh, i'll just select so i'll select this area select the surface and i'll select i am selecting these lines and i'll shift and select this dot as well and i can push them a little like this so that you know um maybe not push them so much yeah just that this much to give it a sort of a padding so if you can actually see this now so this has some kind of padding to it and uh since i had exploded it so and also another thing that we all always remember that you know we shift the baselines once we have made the structure we don't delete the structure we uh, shift it to a new layer so i go over here go to layer one and uh, here i'll just type in this is uh, these are my baselines and I'll just hide them so now I'm going to select everything here you can view this as well like you know without the the ISO curves so if you just select this and if you want to view this as well so you can view this also without the ISO curve the only thing that I don't like about this is my uh, surface seam is on the side so probably i would want the surface seam at the back so i will go to srf seam and click and put it at the back like this and this is how you create your base structure so in the next video we are going to make the zip